Hello and welcome to this uh, first tutorial of uh, what is going to be a number of tutorials for F expansion Geist. Geist is our new product which is a uh, drum machine sampler slicer looper arranger mixer plugin. Uh, it comes plugin and standalone so it's VST AU RTAS um, and standalone for Mac and PC and it's available now and really it replaces our, our previous product Guru which um, had many similarities but Geist takes the concept uh, a lot further. So in this first video I'm going to really just uh, give you a brief tour of Geist and have a look at some of the basic concepts and in the subsequent videos we'll be taking a look at particular areas of Geist um, in much more detail. So when you first fire up Geist, this is what you'll see. This is the interface. To the left here, we have a browser which lets you access your factory content and your hard drives, all your samples. Um, we have lots of nice features in there such as favorites, locations, um, and a nice feature called shortlists where you can shortlist different samples for using and save them if you want. Um, it's got a powerful search engine in it. It's a good little browser, nice to have built in. What I'm going to do is just load up a preset <clears throat> so that we can have something to sort of look at and listen to as we have a look around. This is one of our artist presets that we've had commissioned um, by Mr. D. Ramirez. I'll give you a quick blast of it. What I've loaded there is a full preset and a full preset is basically the entire state of Geist. Geist is uh, essentially eight engines which you could think of as tracks in a song if you like um, and each engine has associated with it uh, 16 pads which can have up to eight layers so that's up to eight samples layered in different ways you can velocity split them you can stack them you can have them round robin each engine also has 24 patterns we can see here the different patterns associated with this engine uh, and a pattern can be um, up to um, something uh, huge like 1024 steps each so you can see there samples can uh, patterns can get pretty pretty enormous they can be triggered in a variety of different ways they also contain um, graphs which are for automating certain parameters uh, you can see all the different parameters there and we can also have access to the pad effects which we'll come to in a minute so um, you probably noticed earlier as I was playing the song that I was um, navigating about by using these tabs up here and these basically changed the current focus. We've got uh, the pattern tab which we just had a look at. We've got scene and song mode which are two different ways of sequencing all your patterns across the eight different engines. The scene mode is very useful for jamming stuff out live. You can basically assign a bunch of patterns to one key on your keyboard or one scene um, and then just trigger that. I'll give you a quick example of that. So you can see there that I'm triggering uh, different parts of the song, and uh, really these should be named. So um, you know you could easily name each one of those, so you can see what you're doing. Song mode is. Um, exactly what you would expect really. It's more of a, a linear way of sequencing patterns. One nice feature of scene and song mode is that you can record your scene changes into song mode directly. So you can set up a bunch of scenes and then just jam with a MIDI controller and it will record it all into song mode as pattern changes. Moving on with the tabs, we have the pad and layers tab, which is where uh, we can do detailed editing to individual pads. Uh, I'll just disable song mode. So we have a basic pattern like that. Let's say, 
let's say I want to do some work on this snare here. Um, we can see I can change the in and out points of the sample. Uh, we have a nice filter. With lots of different filter types and a very nice built in overdrive. And we can do things like velocity to cut off. Um, we have time stretch in here, great for loops or great for just um, interesting mangling of samples. It's a very uh, high end time stretch algorithm. Uh, two envelopes. Um, we have four auxiliary buses in Geist, which can be accessed from a whole number of places, including the individual layers. Um, here you can see I'm selecting uh, the eight different layers that are in the pad. This is the main pad itself. So if I wanted to, I could go to our Geist factory content here, go to hits, snares, um, and choose audition some different snares and maybe drag in some nice ones to different layers. There you can see I've used three of my eight layers. Um, currently those would all trigger at the same time. You can see them triggering there. But if we go back to the pad, we can change the layer mode to velocity split and automatically split them um, depending on how many layers there are. So now depending on what, what velocity I hit is which snare sample will fire. And we also have round robin, which is quite nice, really useful uh, and random. I'm going to leave it on all layers. In fact, I'll um, I'll just delete those as we move on. So that's the pads and layers tab. Lots of uh, power there to basically edit your your kit, your 16 pads down here. Uh, moving on, we have the four mixers. The layer mixer is a way of mixing uh, the eight different layers that you on the pad that you're currently on. So I deleted layers two and three there, so there's nothing on those. Now the mixers all pretty much work in the same way. What we've got is this really nice effects system up here where I can have up to six different effects in um, in series. I could put in a uh, comb filter, say. And then after that, I could put in a delay. And then maybe put in some distortion. Just have it affect the high end. And then decide that I want the distortion at the beginning of the chain. I just drag it, simple as that. Um, let's drag those in a certain order. And then we have lots of presets. Um, this, this is called a chain, so we can save this as a chain or we can load up different uh, chains. So a very powerful effect system, um, and that effect system is kind of universal across the different mixers. So if I move to the pad mixer, um, the pad mixer basically allows me to mix um, the 16 different pads. You can see the different ones being selected there as I play a different pad. And the effects work exactly the same. I have the same saved effects available to me here as I did on the layer mixer and indeed as I do on the engine mixer. So the engine mixer allows me to mix the eight different engines that are um, sort of global in, in Geist. And all the mixers have a send tab here and I can send to one of the four, let's see, yes, I'm on uh, engine one here. So uh, I'm sending a signal to auxiliary one here, which is send one. Uh, so if I go to my global mixer, we can see here the four auxiliary buses and auxiliary one currently has a delay on it.
so four of those auxiliary buses, uh, they can be great for, you know, reverbs, delays, creative stuff. And again, they are um, have access to all the exact same effects chain presets. Um, so there's lots, lots of fun to be had there. Uh, and then finally, we have a master chain. Again, um, you can use all the same effects and have access to the same chains. So those are the mixers. Very powerful, very easy to use, very simple. The last tab up here is the sampler tab. Now, I'll cover the sampler in a separate tutorial, but it's a very, very fully featured sample. We have all sorts of different um, modes. Uh, it can sample itself, which is a lot of fun. Um, in fact, why don't I give you a quick demonstration of that? Um, so if I resample the master here, you can see the input here. I shall set um, this to timed and host, and we'll just sample one bar. Arm it, press play. And it's sampled one bar. We can preview that and loop it. And then from the sampler, I can um, send it, for example, to the slicer. I will save this WAV file here. And what it's done is it's uh, now taken me to the slicer. So we can see here, um, this is another amazing feature of Geist is the slicer, which is just uh, lovely to use very fast. I'm going to tell it to extract the audio and the pattern. And what that means is it's going to slice everything up onto the pads of Engine 1. Um, obviously, I'm going over what I had on Engine 1 here, but for the purposes of this, that's fine. Um, so you can see there the eight different slices that I've got. And it's also going to make me a nice pattern in whichever pattern I have currently selected uh, to play back this loop. So if I click on Done, uh, it's taken me back to the sampler, but I'll go to the pattern tab here and I'll go to the engine and I'll just take away that send. So what I've done there in a very short space of time is I've resampled Geist itself and uh, sliced it and looped it. Um, and I can now do funky things like uh, remix, you know, this loop. So we're getting into experimental territory there, but I just wanted to give you a flavor of what guys can do. That's about it for this tutorial. You've had a brief look at everything. Um, we'll cover all of what we've looked at and more in more detail in the forthcoming tutorials. Uh, and that is Geist.